the Zola not shutting off, and it's definitely got a hole in it, see? It's got the hole drilled in it. Bad switch, Zola. Your pump suck. Three nineteen was put in. So what's that? Two years old. The pump sucks, Zola. Bad switch. I don't know about the Liberty one over there. I don't know what's up with that one. Another Zola pump. Piece of shit. I might have a switch in the truck. I'm not even sure. I'd rather not even play with the Zolas. Junk. I don't know about that Liberty. He says he lifted it, but I gotta check it myself. That Liberty's probably fine. I don't think that one's been changed since 2000. The Liberty's been in there since 2000. It's been in there a long time, that Liberty. Let's see if the Liberty works. It's plugged in, right? Yeah. I wonder why he's got... Why has he got uh, these other two? Well, one goes to this thing. Let's see if the Liberty's still working. <clears throat> the Liberty's dead. The Liberty needs to be changed. <clears throat> I'd like to take it out and put two Liberties in there, be honest with you. Get rid of that piece of shit, Zola. I might just do that. Put two new liberties in there and call it a day. I got them in the truck. That's what I'm gonna do. Put two brand new liberties in there and call it a day. I did double check the this um, liberty's got power to in it to it. That pump needs to be changed. It's, 20, 20 years old. This one's only less. This one's a little bit more than two, and the switch is gone. I do have another switch, so let me pull it out, change the switch, and try that. And uh, that liberty is going to have to be changed. Uh, I do have a switch for the Zola. I hate to just change the switch. I think I might have an older switch in the truck. I'm not sure if it's the same. I haven't had much luck with Zola, that's for sure. Unbelievable. All I can see is unbelievable. Misery is real. Alright, this has got like one of those alarm. We're gonna have to move this. Cut that or move it or something because uh, if not, the alarm company will be activated with a low high water alarm. That's what this little thing is here. Another one in after. <clears throat> just tape that up to the top here so it don't go off. I don't want the alarm company getting all bum hurt. Jed clamp it. The old Jed clamp it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> so 
little wet here. I'm running all the time. I'll be able to roll this up maybe. Rocket science, Mama. Need rocket science. Flopping in the wind, Mama. Oh man, she's flopping in the wind. Isn't it? Uh, nothing but quality here. It's all a piece of shit. Last video I did on Zola's factory rep called me. Or the uh, for my area. I told him that the switch was bad on the other pump. He's arguing with me about it on the phone. I told him his pump suck. I hung up on a guy. He's arguing with me like he was arguing with the guy at the supply house, I bet you. Same guy. Arguing with me about it. Here we go. Another, another piece of shit, Zola. With a bad switch. I don't have a gasket, but I might have a switch for it. Maybe he's flipping argue with me on the phone. I told him, I'm not your problem. Your problem is your switches suck. You know it. Don't want to admit it. Would you? I'd really just rather take it out and put a Liberty in there. To be honest with you. Let's see if I got a switch and it works. I mean, I might as well use it. I got it in the truck. I don't have a gasket for it though. I don't think. I might. I'll put some Smurf jism on there. It should be alright. See if we can get it off. I've got it unplugged. It wasn't the weight, because I... I do have a switch here. I think it's the same. Get in my truck for... Same. Should be able to switch it out. 
Let's try putting a switch in it and see what happens. This piece of shit. What do you think? So this one's white and this one's black. I'm writing it down on the side of the pump there so I know what it is. This one's black. I got it written down on the side of the pump and this one's white. This one is white. Alright. There's the W. The white goes on that side. And then the black. It's too bad because these were good pumps back in the day. I used to swear by these pumps. Not anymore. Bad switch. Two year old. I heard the pump running um, the other day, but I think it was shut cycling on and off. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. It's only Chinese quality there. Alright, so this is the new one. Looks the same. Nothing but quality here. That's all I can say. With the company, they know they have a problem with these switches. I mean, why don't they just do a recall on them? At least buy like a dozen at a time of these pumps. Well, at least six. Six at a time. Okay. I mean, it ain't rocket science, Ma. I might have, I don't think I have another gasket on the truck. I might, I don't even know. I think if I just put some Smurf jism on there, it should be fine. Unless it's rusted. It wasn't leaking, so. Oh, the factory rep's going to call me now and say, Oh, you void the warranty because you put Smurf jism on the gasket. Sure thing, buddy. Void your warranty. Alright, so up here, I did mark black and white, right? So. White's this side. how I marked them before I took anything out, right? And then same thing with this, I marked it. White goes here. And 
on the block. Goes there. I marked it so I wouldn't I wouldn't muff it up, right? Spin it right. Put these on facing this way. So when I spin it, it'll be. Too bad that these pumps suck so much. I mean, I used to tell everybody on my channel to go buy these pumps that they were the best, but not anymore. I don't like them. Well, the problem is, you know, I put the shit in, and then the customers are calling me back in a year, two years, the pump's dead, and makes you look like shit. You know? Company don't give a flying shit about you. Zola company don't care. They got problems with the switches. They should. They should send you new switches. But no. Let's just try to hide the problem, and they think it's gonna go away. It ain't going away. Last 12 Zolas I put in, I think all of them died within two years. It was probably either with the switch or the pump, or just, usually it's the switch. Alright, so let's try that out. Plug it in my light here. Alright, so we'll put that one back in for now. Liberty. You can see she's crusty. She needs to be changed. We'll check this one again, but plug this one in and check it again. Nothing. So they do make switches for these, but I mean the thing's 20 something years old, so I'm just gonna change it out. And they do recommend you put a little, drill a little hole in it. That one's got a hole in it, so I will drill a hole in it. Ooh, the bug there. Look at that bug.
So much for that. That broke. We're gonna need to get another male adapter and a piece of pipe. That's no big deal. I get one out of the truck. I did get another piece, and they do recommend you drill a hole. And I like to drill it down, dr drill it up, so when it sprays, it sprays into the water. Three sixteenths, a quarter inch, something like that. Even though there's a hole in the pump, they still recommend you do that. as a backup so it don't get air bound and look at this pump this pump don't have a hole drilled on it oh yeah it does right there see it see the hole so we're gonna have another hole that's up more it's gonna have two holes there now. there's a hole there so it don't get air bound but they want you to put an extra one I don't hurt if this ever gets rusted. Not to go crazy with it. <clears throat> I like these check valves, these plastic ones. They're the ones I like to use. That holds the water. I hold when the pump shuts off the water stays from here up. It's called the check valve. I worked on these pumps before because uh, they all got jed clampets on it. And that's like a telltale sign. I'm, I've been here. They got jed clampets on it. The only thing I don't like about the Liberty is, see these plugs? I'd rather have a straight plug. I don't like the angle ones like that. Sometimes that can be an issue. That's one complaint I have about them. Alright, we'll put the Liberty in first and then the Zola. So the reason why we have two pumps here is if one pump fails, you got the other one, right? One pump fails, the other one's a little bit higher, the other one will kick in and save the house from flooding. Zola is the low one, so that one's working all. The, that one's working most of the time. Is the Zola? The other one's a backup. He's a lick of mama. clamp it. Yeah, I'm gonna work on my, my lighting skills it looks like a little bit. Oh, 
Don't go too crazy with this. Let's get the other Liberty in too. Get them both in in there before we start tightening stuff up. Liberty's a little higher. Supposedly, it'll be a little bit higher. Whoa, drop. I dropped my Jed Clampet down there. Oh, Jed Clampet's falling loose. Nothing interferes with each other, right? We won't have any interference. The old Jed Clampet. The old Jed Clampet. That, and that water alarm back down there somewhere down low. So, well, if it gets a water alarm company, will get called. So, he's got a new switch and a new pump. So, all right. I'll keep an eye on it. I'm always usually over here working for this cat. Crazy cat. So I'll keep an eye on it for him. Make sure that both work. This is a good customer of mine. You're good customers you take care of. Because they will always they always call you back, you know. Tie all these up, get these out of the way anyway. It's like an alarm that goes to the alarm company. So if the, if the water goes too high, that lift will set the alarm off. We'll send a warning to the company that you have a high water, call it a high water alarm. What I want to do is I want to tape up all these cords out of the way. I'm going to tape them up over here out of the way. Alright, so this is the one installed back in. Looks like 3119. So that's a little over two years old. Um, this new one here, I put the date here. I also put the date on the tag. This one here, I put a new switch. But it's old. So let's see if they work. I got them plugged in. Alright, so that one's gonna work. And this other one. One's a little higher, so it's not going to pump water yet. But so if this one fails, right, that one will kick in. This one will do the majority of the work, but that's like a backup in case one fails. That's why I do a stack them like that. All right, that's it. Get out of here. I cut them panels off so I can make that cover fit on there. Fits better. 
There's some metal brackets that they put in there, so it doesn't fit perfect, but it's better than it was. Keep the critters out, I guess. Nice day today, I can get a better view. Beautiful day.